Hello, hello, beautiful beings of light. Happy Saturday. It's Mandy. I trust everyone's creating an amazing day so far. Let me jump on here really quick and see if I can invite some people so that you guys can tune in to the live video. I'm going to drop some truth bombs for you guys today, as always. So feel free to comment below. Say what's up. If you're catching the replay, then just hashtag replay below. I always like to know who's watching my videos super enthusiastic i'm actually in the parking lot at the gym so i'm getting ready to uh, go in and crush a workout here shortly um, and i just felt really called to do a live video right now <clears throat> about this particular subject so once you jump on once you tune in i know it's saturday so a lot of people are out and about doing their own thing not necessarily sitting around on facebook although some people might be um Let's see. Beings of light. Happy Saturday. <clears throat> I have another it's phone, so I'm checking to see. Oh. Yes, it is working. And I noticed too on my last live video that for some reason, even though you guys were commenting, I wasn't able to see the comments. It was so strange. Um, it was like I saw the first couple of comments, but then after that, I couldn't see anything anymore. So I do apologize. And uh, maybe give some thumbs up and some hearts once you jump on. I see I have some people tuning in, but I can't see who it is. So whenever you jump on, comment below, say what's up, or give me some thumbs up and some hearts. I'm going to talk today about why you may be feeling stuck and then how to overcome it. So let's see, it does look like the video is working, so I'm just going to get rolling and we'll see what happens. Um, hey Jennifer, how are you gorgeous? I appreciate you so much. I know you're on the other side of the world, I'm not even sure what time it is over there. What's up, Melissa? Hey, CJ. I was going to say, I can see a couple of like profile pictures at the top. So anyway, what I want to talk about today is um, why, 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 why you may be feeling stuck and then how to overcome it. Okay. What's up, Shelly? How are you, beautiful? So this is going to be kind of quick because I'm actually in the parking lot at the gym and I'm going to get in there and get a quick workout in so that I can get back home and watch the, uh, the NFL Combine. And uh, so I wanted to jump on here though really fast and tell you guys um first i want to start by saying this is that the truth is is that we are never stuck okay the reality of it is is that likely you me we because everything i'm teaching is usually always for me as well right and we're all one um, but the truth is is we are never stuck we are just committed to certain ways of thinking certain behavioral patterns um, that are no longer serving us so the reality is is that the first step of this whole entire thing is literally becoming aware, okay? That is the first step, okay? So if you have a pen and piece of paper and you're choosing to maybe take some notes, that'd be cool. Let me scoop my seat back. I'm always in my car. This is like my little office. Um, so the first step is becoming aware, okay? So first you gotta kinda see what you got going on. And the easiest way to do that is that if you're desiring results in a certain area of your life and you're not getting those results, well, it's because of lack of action, for one, because that's the most important thing. But it's going to start with, like I said in the other video the other night, it's going to start with your story and your beliefs, and it's going to start with your, and then it's going to go to your thoughts that you're having, and then it's going to go to action or lack thereof, right? Most of the time it's lack thereof in terms of action. So if you have a certain area of your life where, um, and I use this example a lot because I'm obviously a trainer and all that as well, um, but if you have, let's say you're desiring to release 10 pounds of body fat and maybe it's that same stubborn 10 pounds, it's been that same stubborn 10 pounds for the last could be potentially 10 years, right? Um, well, the reality of that is, is that there's something going on inside of you and it's in your subconscious mind, it's in your programming, that's literally keeping you stuck, okay? So the first step is going to be your own awareness. So I would invite you to fill into all the different areas of your life and see where you're desiring change. It could be in your finances, it could be in your career or your job. Maybe you go to work every single day and you're not super enthusiastic about it. You do not wake up excited to go and, you know, maybe sit at a desk from 8 to 5 or, you know, maybe you're a realtor. I mean, you could be doing a lot of different things. <clears throat> and maybe you're not super passionate or enthusiastic about it. It could be in your love life. It could be um, maybe if you're married or, you know, just whoever, you know, with your significant other. Or maybe you're single and maybe you're desiring to get yourself out there and meet someone and be in a relationship. Um, so it could be in any area of your life. So I'm just giving examples here. And like I said, the first step is going to be your awareness. So I invite you to fill into what you're desiring and then where you are now. And then you get to bridge the gap. So you get to bridge the gap on, well, if this is what I'm desiring, and this is the desired outcome, then what steps do I require taking to get there? And it's going to start here first. It's going to start in your mindset first, right? This is the most important, powerful thing that we all have. No one else can control our thinking for us. We think our own thoughts 
thank God, right? Thank God no one else thinks our thoughts for us. Although there is a lot of things that, for example, the media tries to do to program us. And we've all been programmed since we were little bitty kids. So that's what I mean when I say the first step is awareness. Because a lot of times people are literally not even self-aware. So if a person can't tell you, you know, what their flaws are, what their challenges are, maybe what their weaknesses are, then chances are that person's not very self-aware because we all require being self-aware of those things about ourselves. And that's how we actually make decisions to do something different, to transform our life in those areas, whatever your weaknesses are, your shortcomings, okay? Like I'm not perfect, you're not perfect. Yes, we are all divine perfection in our own right, but at the same time, we all have flaws. We all have things that we know we could do better better at that we know we could recommit to or that we know we could just in general go ahead and make a decision now that we're going to commit to in whatever way that looks okay and that's why I talk about too that it's a moment to moment to moment gig here okay I'm not perfect 100% of the time I'm not happy 100% of the time you know I'm not optimistic 100% of the time and chances are, though, I'm very self-aware. So um, I would say from the moment of whatever that is to the moment of your self-awareness is what's really important. And the more that I become more conscious and the more that I become more self-aware and the more that I practice the things that I teach and I preach, you know, the tools and techniques and all the things that I have, the more I can get to a place where that gap is a very tiny, small little gap. It's a quick little turnaround. It's like you fall off the wagon, you get right back on. It's a quick little turnaround. Um, so it is possible to do, no doubt. And the more that you become self-aware and the more you become disciplined in this area of your life, the more that these things will be easy for you. So once again, you're not necessarily stuck. You are just committed to certain ways of thinking, certain ways of being, and certain behavioral patterns that are no longer serving you. So becoming aware of these things, identifying these things, and then making the decision is the next step. You get to decide. Because you know as well as I do, once we make a decision to do something and we commit to that, at least this is the way I operate. I mean, I'm committed, right? So when you're committed to doing something, you're committed to doing it whether you feel like it or not. Like right now, I'm in the parking lot at the gym. I could have easily just laid around all day, been relaxing and chilling. I could have been outside right now, getting some sunshine, doing some earthing, you know deciding I was going to do something a different way. And no, I didn't. I got up, I got ready, got dressed. And then now here I am. I'm going to go in here and, and crush a workout. And I know that it's going to make me feel even better after I finish. So that's one of the main things when it comes to eating healthy and working out that I remind myself of is that I know how much better I feel when I'm committed to a certain way of being. Okay. So I invite you to fill into that. So in whatever area of your life you're requiring, to really get real with yourself, I invite you to fill into that. Um, so I took some notes over here so that I can talk about a couple things that I feel are really important. So yes, first of all, you're never stuck. You know, you just get to change your commitments. Um, then I, another thing that I um, want to mention is that, you know, we all have a subconscious mind. We all have some con subconscious programming. We all have an ego. And we get to remember that that's not our best friend. It's not, it, it doesn't have our best interest at hand. Let's put it that way. So that's why it takes consciousness. And that's why it takes being aware to be able to make decisions to do something Something differently okay because if you're I talk about this a lot if you're not consciously aware you're literally just a train on tracks you're a train and you're on a set of tracks and that's the other thing I love 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 to remind people of the reason that they say a person's future is a prediction like of their past is because most people continue on the tracks Okay, honestly, it's it's not a, it's not a good statistic. I don't even know what the statistic is. It doesn't matter. The reality of it is, though, is that we all could probably think back to a time in our life where we were just like a train on tracks. And I know for me personally, before I learned about all the stuff that I know now, that I love to teach people, that I'm so passionate about supporting people and having their conscious awareness and liberating themselves, is because I used to be a certain way, and now I'm not that way anymore. I'm the way that I actually desire to be. I feel like I'm I am the person now. I'm my higher self. I'm who God created me to be and it took some time to get there and it took me to awaken to all of these things and I do believe that it's possible for everybody to have that same type of experience, okay? So if you are not being consciously aware, you're not looking at your programs, and you're not looking at, you know, where you're potentially stuck, and that maybe, you know, um, like I said, they say sometimes the best prediction of someone's future is their past. Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. I have uh, I have someone message me right now. Don't let that be you. You know what I mean? Comment below if you guys are still on here. I think Shelly's still here. I'm going to go ahead and wave at all of you. Thank you so much for being on the live video I'm just checking to see too if it's working because last time when I did my live video and people were commenting I couldn't even see the comments until I got off the video and then I was like reading all the comments and I was like dang I couldn't see that so um okay I'm trying to check on my other phone to see okay yeah it looks like we're working so we're good um anyway 
I'm just going to keep flowing with it and you guys can take from this whatever you choose. Um, so yeah, just being aware though is that your ego is not your best friend. Your programming is not your best friend. That's not how it works, you know, unfortunately. Um, okay, Shelly, I appreciate you, gorgeous. I saw Angelica, you're on here too, gorgeous. Good to see you. Um, so yeah, being aware of that and that, you know, chances are past is prediction of the future. Don't let that be you. Make a decision to recommit and let your future be what you decide for your future to be. Once again, making the decision. Decide what you desire for your future to be, not what your past was or, you know, what your subconscious programming has you believing. Um, and then making new choices and starting to do things differently. That's why they say 21 days forms a habit. You know what? It doesn't matter how challenging it is. If you make a decision to do something and you every single day recommit, recommit, recommit to doing that, it will then become easy for you. I really think my car is like on autopilot to get here to the gym because I come here so often, but it is so easy for me. And I'm being sarcastic about my car, but the reality of it is, is like, I wake up every morning and brush my teeth. I trust you guys do the same. And that's how I feel about the gym. I'm like, I cannot not work out. Like it's so important for me. So for so many different reasons. So you can make anything in your life that way for you. Because anything only has the meaning that you give it, right? So if you decide that you desire to give something a new meaning, well, by all means, do it. Do it right now. No one's stopping you. Give something a brand new meaning for yourself. Maybe you have an outlook on the gym as all these negative things, okay? You can you can get rid of all that and you can make a decision that you don't see the gym as that or even just say not even necessarily going to the gym but just exercise in general change your way of thinking about things and the way that you're thinking about things will then change so that's actually like a dr wayne dyer uh quote may he rest in power he says change the way you look at things and the things that you look at change so however you're looking at a situation whatever your perception or perspective of that situation is it has you in a fixed way or meaning that you've given to that situation. But guess what? You're powerful. You're powerful, my friend. You're powerful. You can decide that you choose to look at it in a different way. And as soon as you make that decision to look at it a different way, then guess what? That situation transforms. The situation, the person, whatever it is, it can literally transform because everything is energy. Thank God. You know, thank God we have this power. Thank God we have this awareness. Thank God we have this knowledge. And for me personally, it's very empowering to know how powerful I am and that I actually have an effect on things in my outer world. It's very very powerful to know that in the past I didn't know that right so a lot of times if people aren't aware of these types of things they think oh woe is me this is just my lot in life this is how it's always been this is how it's always gonna be and this is how it was for my parents and this is how it's gonna be for me and this is how it is for my friends and so it's gonna be no get rid of that story start taking you know accountability and responsibility for what you're thinking about in your own mind what your beliefs are let's say about money for example um the last thing i put on here was um investing in yourself is the best investment you can ever make think about the roi think about the return on investment in yourself so many people are blowing money daily and weekly on things that do not even matter starbucks drinks eating out ordering stuff off amazon um you know whatever extracurricular activities and then they're not even in a place where they're desiring to to invest in themselves i can guarantee you there was times in my past where i made investments in myself when i didn't even feel that i had the ability or resources to do that and i prayed about it got in alignment with it either manifested or generated what I required in terms of resources or whatever way I required doing it and it was some of the best investments I have ever made that has me where I am in my life right now and if I would not have done that I guarantee you I would not be where I am in my life right now and I say that in lots of different ways um, you know, fit, healthy, happy, uh, you know, free in my mind, uh, gave up alcohol for over six years, have an online business. I have freedom. I can travel. I can do whatever it is I desire to do. And most, most, uh, I wasn't say most importantly, but not importantly, the most amazing thing is I get to support other people in doing the same exact thing. I get to support other people in liberating themselves and me, um, you know, being this bright, shiny beacon of light because it's who I was called to be. This is literally my divine mission. I can can jump on here I could be on this video from now until this time tomorrow and I guarantee you I would have more things just continually coming into my mind and coming out of my mouth because this is what I'm meant to do is I'm meant to motivate and encourage and inspire other people coach people hold them accountable right be their biggest cheerleader um, support them in having their awareness support them in having their enthusiasm remind them of how powerful they are remind them that they can change 
right now. It doesn't matter if you've been the same way for the last 20 years. That doesn't matter. Get rid of the limited beliefs. Get rid of the negative thoughts. Get rid of the stories, you guys. Like we all have that same amount of power to do that. So I invite you today and I, I appreciate you all who are just now jumping on. What's up, Nancy? How are you gorgeous? Hey, John, how are you, my friend? I'm actually in the parking lot at the gym, so I'm about to go in there and crush your workout. Um, what's up, mama? How are you? Hey, Tina, how are you, beautiful? So I appreciate you guys being on the live video. Definitely, if you just now tuned in, go back and watch this from the beginning um, because I just, you know, was sharing a whole lot of things that I feel are very, very powerful to support you guys. Also, I have a program starting on Monday. It's called Me Versus Me because that's the reality of it all. It's literally you versus you, just like it's me versus me. So if that feels like something that resonates with you, if you're requiring support right now in any area of your life, it's a six-week program. I'm super passionate about it. I'm super enthusiastic about it. I stand behind my programs 1,000%. Shelly will tell you if she's still on here. Nancy's done some of my programs as well. Um, my programs are powerful if a person commits. So when a person feels in alignment and they're ready to make a change, that's why my hashtag is make a choice to make a change. It can be scary, guys. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm the same way. We're all human beings. I'm no different than you are. The reality is, is that your ego and your subconscious mind and your program is going to try to keep you stuck. As soon as you try to make a decision of, oh, I'm going to invest in this program. I'm going to invest in myself. I'm going to get better in my life. I'm going to be better in my life. Subconscious programming, ego will shut it down. It'll tell you all the reasons why you can't. You don't have the money. You don't have the time. Blah, blah, blah. That's where you get to overcome it. That's where you get to have your awareness right then of like, no, I'm not going to continue as a train on the tracks. I'm going to make a new choice. I'm going to do something different. I've been having these conversations the last several days with a lot of people. And for whatever reason, you know, it's like uh, people... I would just say right now, people tend to somehow make some excuses. Hey, Shannon, beautiful. People tend to make excuses, but the excuse is really not even a valid excuse. That excuse is really the ego and the subconscious programming trying to keep that person safe. That's when your conscious mind gets to override it and say, enough, enough. I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of being this way in my life. I had one girl message me like four or five audios about five minutes long about all the pain points and all the challenges that she's experiencing in her life. And then I'm sitting here saying, good, let's go. Let's commit. This program is for you. Six weeks long. Like I'm going to be your cheerleader. So the thing is, is, is if you have this going on and you desire something different and you know that you know what you should be doing, right? Chances are, you know how to work out. You know, if you've been following me for a long time too, you know how to work out. You might even already have a gym membership. You know, you know what to eat, what to drink. Um, how to be, but you may just not be doing it. And I was even sharing with her earlier as well. Like I even have a coach. There's even times in my life where I'm requiring support as well. So a lot of times it's not lack of knowledge. It's lack of, you know, um, implant, uh, imp implanting, implement, I got distracted over here, implementing what you know. And a lot of times it's because once again, the subconscious mind and the programming is running the show. So like I said, if you're requiring support, if you know you've been stuck in a rut, if you know you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you know that you won't do what you know you require doing because for whatever reason you just haven't been or you don't do it, allow me to support you. If it resonates, send me a PM, comment below this message or comment below this video. Um, let's get rocking and rolling. I'm freaking fired up. I got a couple spots remaining. We're starting on Monday. It is no joke. When you join my programs, you will literally shift if you do the work and if you commit. Um, like I said, I know what I bring to the table and it's, are you willing and are you ready to make those changes in your life? And I'm reminding everybody, hey, start on Monday and in six weeks, your life can literally look completely different. That's exactly what happened to me back in the day when I made the investment in myself. And I guarantee you the investments I've made in myself are way more in terms of monetary than my program. So I actually give a lot of value, a lot of information, a lot of support, a lot of love, a lot of everything, world-class service, if you will, for my clients in my programs um, because it's just who I am as a person. You know, I'm going to over deliver because that's just who I am. And what I'm trying to say is that the time, the energy, the effort, you know, uh, the investments that I've made monetarily now in myself and in my own life over the last several years is what now I put into my programs to support other people as well. So do not let money be an excuse. Do not let time be an excuse because once again, really at the set, we know that most of the time is just an excuse because if you really desire something, you would find a way. If you really desire, you know, the Prada purse or whatever it looks like, I mean, people put stuff on layaway, people use credit cards, people, you know, borrow money, people pawn stuff to have money. Don't let your excuse be lack of resources in terms of money and don't let your excuse be lack of time because those things can easily be found and created 
and made space for. So when you find yourself making excuses, remember that it's your subconscious program and it's your ego that's trying to keep you small, trying to keep you stuck. Fear of, woo, what if she changes? Or, woo, what if he changes, right? Woo, fear of the unknown. You get to overcome that. You get to say, nope, boom, nipping it in the bud. My conscious mind knows what I desire. And if this is what I require doing to get there, then by all means, I'm committing. And like I said, it's a moment to moment gig. You get to continuously recommit. So I know I just kind of went off on a rant, but it's just interesting how a lot of people, they don't even see that in their own awareness that it's still excuse after excuse after excuse. It's like, well, you're telling me you got all this going on and I'm giving you your solution. And then now you're giving me, you know, more reasons of why you can't do it. Well, I'm okay either way. I'm running my program either way. My clients are going to transform either way. I'm transforming either way and I'm holding space for people and I'm doing what I'm requiring doing, but it's like, where are you on your journey and are you ready to overcome that? So once again, you are never stuck. I keep spitting for some reason. How funny is that? You are never, I think it's because I ate a peppermint a second ago. You are never stuck, my friends. You are literally just committed to certain ways of thinking and certain ways of being and certain behavioral patterns that are no longer serving you. And then you have the power to do something different. Only you do. Only you have the power to do something different about it and to commit to doing something different in order to transform your life. Mwah. I did it. You can do it. I'm passionate about supporting other people and doing it. So if it feels like a good fit, comment below. Send me a PM. Let's go. We're starting on Monday. I'm going to go in here and get my workout on so that I can watch the NFL Combine here in a little while. And I Trust everyone's creating an amazing, beautiful, wonderful, awesome weekend. Thank you so much, Shelly, for the love and being on here live. Thank you, uh, Shannon, if you're still on, Nancy, John, whoever else is still on, Mama. And uh, I'll chat with you guys soon. Mwah. Film 11 appreciation. Namaste. The light in me honors the light in you. All right. We'll chat soon. Bye, guys.